Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Scriggity, episode 4. Today's August 23rd, 2006, and here is your Scriggity. You know what time it is? Scriggity time. Ready, set, Scriggity. 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 kind of news at all. And, well, you did. So, uh, today's news is going to be of a different variety. Okay, so, Amy, who is 20 and lives in Indiana, left us a message on MySpace telling us what's new to her. She says she finally lives on her own and she adopted a two-year-old male cat from a local animal control shelter to keep her company. He was already declawed and fixed. Declawed and fixed. Sounds like he had a great time at the vet. Amy says she picked him out of all the other cats because he was the biggest of the bunch. He weighs about 17 pounds. 17 pounds? That can't be normal. That's why the average cat only weighs about 9 pounds. Ooh, okay, 9 pounds, 17 pounds, slight difference. Maybe you should put him on a diet. He was already named when she got him, so she was unable to change it. She said she's okay with the name, though, because it's Monte Mew. And that name just kicks ass. Speaking of the best damn cats in the world, Drew's cat Jasper eats tortilla chips. That's probably not very healthy either. She's pretty thrilled about the cat. She, like all other cat owners, claims he's the cutest and the fattest and all that other good stuff. 17 pounds? My god, do you own stock in the cat food company? She's very excited about it and recommends that people go to their local animal shelter and adopt an animal. Save a life. Oh yeah, you knew it was coming. Scriggity's good friend Bob Barker would like to remind everyone, please remember to spay and neuter your pets. Amy sent us some pictures that she'd like to share of her dear beloved Montemu. Oh, y you know, it was probably after he got fixed, he just had a lot of emotional problems and put on all that weight. Amy would also like to mention that she's a big fan. Jessica has some big news for us. Her friend is two months pregnant. This week on, as the Scriggity turns. Ooh, the bad news is Jessica's friend got pregnant by Jessica's ex-boyfriend. Oh no, he didn't. What does Jessica have to say about this? Yeah, fucked up, but true. And that, to me, is news. No way. That's just... That's just wrong. And that was Jessica's news. Even though she was not too happy to hear about it. That's a damn shame, Jessica. There's only one thing to do now. Revenge. I got two words for you. Anarchist cookbook. Oh, and the show? Awesome. <gasps> Jessica, you didn't have to do that either. We got some news from Scott De Palma in New York. Wanted to let us know that he just bought himself a 1964 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. 64 Coupe de Ville. Not a bad choice there, Scott E.D. We here at Scriggity don't really know too much about cars. But believe it or not, I have taken a 64 Coupe de Ville for a spin once. The ride was uh, really soft, comfortable, and the turbo hydromatic transmission made for much smoother shifts than what I'm used to with other GM makes. I did notice that the, um, the Cadillac buyers were rather conservative, so the dashboard design lacks innovative style typical to the era. I want to give a sincere thank you to all the members of MySpace and MindSane, YouTube, and wherever else you may be watching us um, for all the comments, the feedback, and everything that you've been sending in. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I only have one question, though. How are you supposed to respond to what's good? Pirates are good. Getting the last bowl of ice cream is good. Winning a million dollars is good. Sleeping is good. Music is good. Quentin Tarantino is good. Adult Swim is pretty good. I don't know what else is good. That new, um, strawberry jazz Pepsi is pretty good. The best damn tech show period is good. Watching Scriggity is good. Gandhi is good. 
Okay, that's enough. I quit. So I hope that covers it for all you guys who have ever asked what's good. Thank you for tuning in to Scriggity this week. Remember to send your news to news at scriggity.com. Okay, so I've said it once, I'll say it again. Remember, send us your news to news at scriggity.com. That can be anything, as you've seen in this show. News at scriggity.com. And uh, I'll see you guys again next week. synapses or whatever in my brain that transfer information back and forth on a short-term basis have all been completely destroyed. And I'm sorry for that. But it's too late to make it better now.